I just picked up the brand new X6 crank set by Giacun. Giacun is the maker of the beloved IXF budget crank set. And the cheapest that I found this crank set on eBay is $48. I'll put the eBay posting link in the description. And this crank set did come shipped from China and it says it can take up to two months, but it only took three weeks for these to get here. The shipping was free and I did not have to pay any sales tax or any duties either. This package does come with a bottom bracket, spacers, the cranks of course, the sprocket, and a little tool to tighten the bolt on the spindle. The reason why these really sparked my interest is because the cheapest that you can find the IXF crank set is $40 on Amazon, which is cheaper than you can get it on eBay or AliExpress. But the IXF crank set does not come with a sprocket and that usually runs you about $10. So you're looking at at least $50 plus sales tax on Amazon. And I picked these up for $48. So is this brand new X6 crank set cheaper? I'd say so. So what's different between this and the IXF crank set? These are also two piece cranks, just like the IXF. They do not have the traditional 104 BCD chain ring. Instead it has a bolt on chain ring which I think is pretty slick. These aluminum crank arms have CNC etching on the back and they feel like some pretty solid construction. It really looks like some thought was put into these and they don't look entry level at all. The claim weight of the cranks are 625 grams and they're spot on for me at 628 grams. The claim weight of the original IXF crank set is 615 grams. You can pick these up in various sizes and also they come in red and black. You can also buy it with or without the bottom bracket which I should have done because I already have a BSA bottom bracket and that would have saved me $8. Well, that's enough talking. Let's install these things. Well, I actually don't have a T25 socket to use my torque wrench. So I'm just going to use my impact driver. Uh, scratch that. I'd actually recommend just a hand tighten it. So I actually picked up the Shimano Dior three by crank set. I picked it up in like 2017 and it was $60 off eBay. And I was gonna use it for a sprint bike, but I just never got around to it. So I got kind of lucky to have it in the first place, uh, but I did have to buy this 96 BCD chain ring and that was $16. So in total, we're at $76 for this crank set. And it looks like I'm gonna be shaving about 20 grams off using the X6 crank set, which isn't really much, but it was nearly $30 cheaper. Well, the installation's all complete. I'd say it looks pretty amazing. Better than the Shimano's that were on there, actually. There's so one thing left to do, and that's to go ride it. So I just got done with some hill repeats on the brand new G-Kun X6 crank set. And I'd be lying if I said these cranks felt different. I'd say with probably all aluminum one by crank sets, they're all gonna feel about the same. Unless you're an elite rider cranking out a thousand watts and flexing out your whole bike. The important thing with these cranks is the value. And these cranks are the cheapest on the market right now. And they look pretty cool. To me, I think that they have better construction than the original IXF crank set. And I'd be curious to see how they match up in a strength test but I'm not capable of doing that. I can't speak to the longevity of these cranks, but I'll be sure to let you know. Right now, I'm really happy with this purchase and I highly recommend them to all you guys. But now, I think I'm gonna ride some more. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.